For the vision is yet for an appointed time, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Racha Kudash, to put honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and laboring the word and doctrine. And Shalom one being in peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. So going into this, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right, so though it seems like now really we want to be out of here and if you don't if you want to say oh i could be with a hundred years to get right that's not the spirit we're supposed to be in now paul was his heart's desire was that you know, israel would be saved and ultimately in the kingdom will that happen yet yeah. will all the nation of israel on this side make it La -a, absolutely not but it's not an unrighteous desire you know, just like we understand that we have to be and serve our sentence but to want to be from up under this devil you know, and having the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh in, in place and that's not an unrighteous desire but we have to understand it has to happen in order of prophecy you know? the Lord is not bound by much but he's bound by his own word you know, he's bound by prophecy because uh, a uh, characteristic that the Lord has is that he will not lie he's not a man that he should lie so then if he said, you yeah, know, this must come to pass, you yeah, know, first there has to be a haragma, and then there has to be this, you know, Jacob's trouble, which is all, all part of it, all tied in. The fact that these things have to take place is proof you know, that we're not going to deliver ourselves on our, on our own time frame. You know, the Lord is going to deliver us on his time frame. And like it says in Romans 9th chapter, 9 and 16, it says, So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that sheweth mercy. So that's that's really, and that's how, because when you, when you read about this, it's talking about the idea of free will. Yeah, so then you'll say, uh, how's, it, how's it worded? Yeah, so basically, you know, why am I getting punished? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a lot of yeah, Go on then. <laughs> People don't think that. People do not think. All right. Now he doesn't think as well. All right. Salah here. And then looks at me like I'm an idiot for for staying still in the place where I'm supposed to be. Anyway. All right. So like it says in the context of Romans nine, it's talking about how there's there's no there's no free will, man. Now the Lord raised up Pharaoh and hardened Pharaoh's heart. Oh, it's happened again. It's fixed. It's remedied. So in this, in this, uh, this new Pharaoh over spiritual Egypt, you know, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, that he, he has to, uh, he has to get his heart hardened as well. You know, the Lord's not going to put the spirit on E to just be, and there might be certain E's that are used, you know, to give you, give you whatever. Yeah, ultimately he's a minister. Yeah, he's a minister for good. Alright, so I'll judge wicked Jakes. Yeah, the Lord might put the spirit on him to be um, peaceable at certain times. Like it says, when the man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Now that's a true statement. But the times that we're going in, the Lord's not going to put a, a spirit on E holistically to take care of Jake. Yeah, he's going to put the spirit on, on uh, Esau to remind you that he is your enemy after all yeah, he is your enemy he is the wicked he is your enemy and he's adversarial right he is against your cause and your cause should be to serve the heavenly father so although it's frustrating yeah, that this thing doesn't just hurry up and happen right now you know, it's according to the lord's perfect timing just like it says now he will put on the spirit to do according to his anger yeah because if if jake did according to jake's anger it wouldn't be enough okay jake did according to his own anger it wouldn't be enough we've done we've had that you know we've had a time and really we're we're in a, again an, in in an intermission period where there's no physical king that we can see on this earth over israel right so everyone does what is right in his own eyes let me just search your own eyes. All of these. Uh, Judges 17 and 6. 
In those days there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. That's where we're at. Now, this is not, I'm not saying this is exactly what, what is happening in terms of the judges. And, and we're in that time frame. Of course, that would be an erroneous breakdown. But the fact that we're you know, here, there's, there's no, no one we take direct orders from on the earth in uh, spiritual matters in terms of a king. Of course, we have elders, apostles, apostles and elders rather, that we're supposed to subject ourselves to. But in terms of a king, you know, we don't have a king over us. Our king is Yahweh Shai. You know, he's in the heavens making intercession for, for we. So everyone's doing what well, someone thinks, all right, Kemet's right in my eyes, so then be a Kemet. If someone thinks, all right, Christianity's right in my eyes, so then be a Christian. You know, Islam is the way, we'll say someone. You know, so they're a Muslim. So everyone's doing their own thing. But it's also, it's what's right in their own eyes, but the Lord again put the spirit on them. So the thing is, the vision, there's many visions that are for a point in time. The main one we're waiting on is, of course, the Haragma and Jacob's trouble, the persecution. But chiefly, uh, chiefly, the deliverance. Yeah, but it's not for this, it's not for right now. If it was for right now, we'd all have been beamed up three seconds ago. You know, certain things have to take place before, like I say, before we can be saved because the Lord is, should I rather say, like I say, because the Lord is bound by his word. And he has to do what he said he will set out to do. Right, and it, it will not return void. So if it says Israel, so if it says Israel, going to get saved, no, say Israel's going to get saved. Just because it's not happening right now, doesn't mean it won't happen at all. Now, what did I just say? Oh, yeah. Isaiah 55 and 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So what's the thing that the Lord sent? Yeah, he sent Esau, aka E, he sent him to be the perfect peace taker from the earth, set up on that red horse. There's a reason the horse is red. Yeah, there's a reason that the devil, the dragon, the serpent in Revelation is red. Right, so the Lord set that up. And he set him up to make a charagma. And ultimately, the ultimate, ultimately, the ultimatum of ultimates is that we will be saved and have a kingdom that lasts forever. And forever is a hell of a long of a time. All right, that was a quick hit. I pray it's edifying. Until the next one, Lord willing, shalom.